Now, you might be wondering how to exactly use an Android tablet as a second monitor for your Mac. Well, there are a few things that you may want to know and you may want to do here. So, first things first, uh, you want to pick an app that you want to use. So, Mac doesn't support Android tablets as a second display by default. So, you'll need an app to bridge the two most or uh, to bridge the two uh, devices here. Now, the most reliable ones people use are going to be Duet Display, Splash Top, Wired X Display, or Super Display. Any of those or any of these will basically turn your tablet into an extra monitor. Now, next thing that you want to do is you want to go and install the desktop program on your Mac. Now, whichever app you choose, head to its official website, download the Mac version. Once it's sold, you want to go and run it in the background, let your Mac send video output to your tablet. Now, you want to open up the Google Play Store as well and install the same app on your tablet so, uh, so both devices can communicate. Now, it only takes a few seconds and set up everything needed on the tablet, uh, tablet side. Now, also, most apps gives you two options. USB cable, usually the smoothest and least laggy here, and they also have Wi-Fi mode here, which is more flexible but can lag if your Wi-Fi is weak. So once connected, open the app on both devices and they should automatically detect each other. And the first time you plug it in, the tablet may ask you to allow screen sharing or USB permission, so just tap allow so it can display your max extended screen properly. Now, on your Mac, you want to go to System Settings and Display, and you'll see your tablet show up as a second screen. Drag it left or right, depending on where the tablet is physically, and that's it. Now, you can drag Windows over and just like a second monitor. Now, if things feel slow here, try switching to a wired connection, lowering the resolution in the app, or making sure both devices are on the same network when using Wi-Fi mode. These small tweaks usually makes everything buttery or buttery smooth, but that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.